all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Ooh, 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 I love that. Back to episode 29 of Five Star Sodas. It has been three weeks since we've been sat around the table drinking juice. Uh, it's been too hot to do podcasts, to be honest. Is really. that the theory? Ah, that's, Is that that's, the party that's line? What we're telling, what we're <laughs> actually, you're lucky we're even doing this fucking podcast. Aye, cause we're busy guys now. And it's 24 degrees outside. It's not lockdown anymore. Staying in shut. Aye. It's, we're back. Work, work is back on. Uh, but we did say we were going to stick to two episodes a week, but we kind of we kind of fucked that in the first week. We've, we've made it three weeks, but we'll, we'll, they'll be regular. You know what? Just, we don't know when our podcast will be semi regular. That's uh, what you need. Yeah, know. yeah. That's, Life that's, finds a way. Just subscribe. Sometimes there may be loads. Sometimes there may be uh, a drought. Subscribe and then you'll find out when they come. You'll find out when they come. Yeah, he's like that person. They just found out. Hit <laughs> that, <laughs> that bell. That, that. <laughs> That sound that I forgot to put off my computer back there. The image is going to get better and better in this podcast, but the actual like professionalism is going to get worse and yeah, worse because yeah. we're comfortable now. How you, too early? How he's been? How's, I mean, as you say, it's been a while since we've actually. Yeah, it's been good. A I've been good. I've, I've, uh, I feel like I'm. I feel like the way you feel after summer sessions or something, but it's like you get to the end of a sort of run or th- ah, something, yeah. and then you're just like, "Wow, that happened." I'm done. So, yeah, I feel. Glad to be back at the podcast. To be yeah. honest, I know it's a good leisurely. It's it's the right weather for this podcast. I think. Yeah, it is. Feels like we should be outside. To be uh, honest, maybe we should do an outdoor an outdoor episode yeah. next July. Do you think that we actually did probably some of the Zoom ones when you'd like when you know look out and be there must have been snow line when we were uh, doing that. Oh, big time! It's a podcast for all seasons. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It certainly is. I mean, we, we had a Christmas special, so... Fucking right, we have a very special Christmas special. Yeah. What no, have you been up to anyway, Andy, the last three weeks? I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> like, work's been back, so I've just been busy sitting at my desk and planning things. Like, we're, we're deep in transmit planning, so... Um, aye. Lots so I did... Uh, so at this point, transmit September... September 10th, 11th, 12th, the Biffy Clyro are doing the 9th and on the same. Oh, yeah, they all do that, yeah. Should we get the... Should we get the biff to do a wee podcast? <laughs> do a five star sodas episode on, on site. Your favourite jig. So the staying in's done. It's not that it's done. I've just not well, had any time. I've not had any time. But for was it. there a, any sort of ceremonial like we're no, taking no, a break? No, not at all. I mean I actually thought yesterday I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be chucking a couple of wee extra quizzes. I do have a couple of things planned for August mm. um with some other tie ins partnerships do you and stuff like that. Remember when there was a certain was it Shenanigans? Was that what it was called in Paisley? No, there used to be a Shenanigans East Bride as a pub. Mm, Kefuffles. Kefuffles? Maybe it was Kefuffles. <laughs> Kefuffles. But the, the idea that sometimes it's like, our Furies was a good one in Paisley because it would be like, Furies is shut this week because of an incident for the weekend before, kind of thing. Aye. I'll be back next week, don't worry. Aye. <laughs> Aye, That's kind of like the staying in. It's like <laughs> someone's been stabbed in the staying in. We'll just try to figure out who it was and make sure that they are barred. Aye, pretty pretty much. Much. What about you? Just so chilling, tell, you know, tell the people uh, what you've been doing re, last week. I uh, rejoined the the workforce. He's back. I know. I was uh, probably the 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 hottest new floor runner in TV <laughs> for four days. How Shot, was it? Can uh, you talk much about it? I won't give you any spoilers about the. What plot. was the show? Shetland. Oof. Do you know anything about the show? I don't actually know. It's, it's like an a ITV show, right? Eh? Funnily enough, it's <laughs> ITV made it for the BBC, which I don't. That's bizarre. Yeah. But no, it's like a kind of, it's like a crime thing. It's all... It's Is it kind of like Broadchurch? Aye, it's like Broadchurch. I think Broadchurch, we, I think we had, when we, on the staying in, actually, we had a couple of Shetlanders? cast from it on like yeah. one of the Beats and Quizzes and Aye. stuff. Um, no, it was cool. It was it was cool to see how it all runs and stuff, but... What was your big takeaway from the week? <sighs> Fucking long, yeah, long, long days, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make a good cup of tea now? Oh, mate, I could always make a good cup of tea. I think that's how I really earned my... Stripes. My stripes. <laughs> no, it was interesting. Like, everybody was, like, considering how many people were there, there was, everybody was, like, nice and chill. It was actually quite a good... How was the COVID vibes? Did um, it feel covid Do you know what I mean? No, like, it was actually, place? like, well, it's like... Don't throw him down to the bus. No, it was, like, it was it was pretty legit. Do you know what I mean? And they were... Um, it's quite a big space they're dealing with, so everybody nah. was kind of chill. It didn't, it didn't really make it feel like no thing was like that's the first, that's the longest I've had my mask on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I've not really been doing much, and and when I've been out and about, masks not really been a thing. Um, but you're I fighting just, against the masks, though. Me as a beard man. Oh, it's. I mean, 
that's the thing. Like, if I put it on, that's me. Like, I just need to be, I just have this fold uh. down it that really would require washing and conditioning it. So what happened was I ended up being an extra <laughs> five minutes into arriving because I get there and they're like, they're, they're in the middle of briefing me on what I should be doing. They like, how many of the extras are here? By the way, we don't call them extras. What do they call them? Oh. For 10 points. Uh, scene something? No. no he knows it it's right there is Go it back, background act no nah. no no it's I'll give you the, they, so they all referred to it by a, a, an acronym ah. they were calling them essays screen actors nah what are they doing right move on supporting artists ah, right. supporting artists so this is my first bit of confusion yeah, we Oscar for that best what? supporting artist <laughs> everybody's saying <laughs> How many of the essays are here? Have ah. you got the numbers for the essays? I'm just like, what the, what fuck's, the fuck's an essay? <laughs> Do you want maybe one? Then somebody's like, you know, oh, it's like supporting artist. I'm like, oh, like the extras. We don't call them extras. <laughs> I'm like, right, cool. But I mean, like, just <laughs> let's just, be honest here. Extras. That Ricky Javis show, wasn't he called <laughs> Adventures <laughs> of the Essays? Um, so anyway, I basically hear this kind of like panic thing on the radio of like, right, how many essays are here so far for the morning? Zero. Zero! Like this type of thing. Start phoning, there's a wee call sheet for the essays and one by one, homeboy comes back and he's like, ah, they think it's like 9.30 or something. That, um, and then next one, same, same, same. So none of them are showing. And, I, and I'd and i already read on it, so it's like X amount of like police and then it's like, it, <laughs> it said workies, which I thought workies. wasn't... You shouldn't be calling them workies. Like, Come on, man. They're like supporting engineers. <laughs> but so I was like, I, I joking, I went, some people tell me I look like a working man. <laughs> And then, like, I go in and start doing what I should be doing, and I hear, like, Al, come in. I'm just like, this is the first time the radios came for me. I'm like, ah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Could you go and see Dana in costume? I'm like, can't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I just go over, and she's literally holding a boiler suit and high fist. She's like, you're a worky. And she's a game of these fucking... And you're like, I think you mean support manager. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I had to be a bust in, and I just met everybody. And they're like, this is Al, he's the new runner. And then they'll call, like, right, everybody on set, we're going to get this pop. Because everyone can, I've been like, way. <laughs> it was a wee bit, it was a wee bit. So it was like me, one of the boys from props, and then one of the girls on the COVID team, actually. Um, well, like, well, more like factory workers, that's what it was like. But so I get in there and I've just kind of met everybody, and then, all, including the, the, the girl who's directing, and Appier bust up, and like, she's just looking like, all right, man, you just feel. <laughs> You're in it now, you're in a defense. She's like, good on you for like, she's stepping up. I'm just like, they told me there was a bonus, man, if you do this. <laughs> so I don't, I've not really done my kind of pay slip, but whatever that guy, whatever worky number two was supposed to get, surely that's coming my way. Nah, straight into your pocket. Definitely, right, man. man. So when's that on? When can we see So that's those? like, and I'll be like, Jane, you got like some camera thing? Well, my dad said this last night. And my Hel dad, Helena, dad. no, I told my dad, Helena said the same. <laughs> Helena went, there's no chance they're cutting you out of this though, because like, you know what I mean you've been telling everybody about. and I was like as far as I can see there's no possible way to get me out of it because they would like go action and I would walk across the camera uh, and no. then they would turn the scene around I walked in the opposite direction then I had this other scene where I was really trying to push myself as an actor <laughs> where I, they said this, on this one it was almost like let's try something <laughs> see on this one see when you walk past the camera just a flank round walk up to the background with this big thing of like empty boxes is pretend you're checking the checking the labels oh. so I was like did you ask what your motivation for checking the labels was <laughs> uh, but then actually when the yell cut the the third AD come up went, we actually went the ones up right up at the top <laughs> <laughs> so I was like he must have you're thought this guy's like trying to be all Ricky Gervais in it like, <laughs> like Ray, what was it Raymond Valiers the guy still came <laughs> I don't, like, just sneaking in the Ron side Valiers, <laughs> Ron Valiers, sorry um, Ron Valiers. so now so it's like so I think it's like the sixth season so it's probably, got a, it's probably a while off right. but don't worry we'll let we'll the people wait, everybody know. we can do a watch <clears> party because <throat> right, it'd be so good if it's good and it'd be also so good if, it, if you're like when is it coming up? And I'm doing that joy thing where I'm like, I'm in the body bag. Yeah, just, yeah, a, yeah. just a sidebar on Ron Valiers. What was your, like, can you remember some Ron Valiers bits? I've got two. Is that Tune Burn... the Fat? No, that's, yeah. Tune the Fat. Burn the Witch was one of them. Oh, uh, that was an, a nailer. And then the other one was uh, the Star Trek one. And he's like, ah, Captain, that's a, that's a Borg in the big, the big screen for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, cut. I was, it's not a big I screen. Mean, fuck, I was... 
that that was a long time ago. That was a, that long, was a long time. It's all on Netflix, eh? but I mean, it was like such a pure seminal show. Yeah, like yeah. all these pure things. You it's like pure school. Catch it's weird. It's still game. Uh, is like the big thing, but yeah. it, that was a skit. In chewing yeah, the fat, yeah, like yeah. it's weird that that that's the one that everybody really talks about. And nobody really mentions. What do you think? What what is the biggest? What do you think the biggest catchphrase from? Giza Swatch. Ah, Giza Swatch. Yeah, fine. Is it? That was my mate, though. Callum. He did what? He was the actor. He was the oh, it's a wee guy. Yeah, ah, that's wee guy. Right. Yeah, he yeah. played in that. He played in a band, like Shit, little punk right. band, at the same time as we oh, did. Okay. And there's probably more than that. There was times where we'd be doing gigs, man, and like, like I remember specifically one time this, like. Babe comes up to the two of us after a gig and she's like talking to us and she's like, Oh, I've seen both your bands, really liked it. And then she kept she kept doing this and looking at him and going, I feel like I know you. And I'm like, he's a swatch of fan. She went, <laughs> It's you. And he's like, fuck's sake. How to, I, just like, taking him at the game. How to make your parents proud. <laughs> I know that's a bit No, there was no uh, maybe the that's him into the wanking. Oh, that, oh, was, that was good, I yeah. my mum's favourite one was the you know, the one with the smoking. And like uh, I love that oh, boy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But right, the, we're here for, for one thing season. and one thing only. Let's let's get in. refreshments. What you got, man? Uh, so right, I'm kicking off, and actually, this is another gift from uh, Stevie Gardner. Oh, 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 what was his last gift again? What was this one? The Mountain Dew. Uh, aye, the Mountain, Mountain Dew. Oh yeah. What Mountain Dew was it? It was the Shark one. No, the no, G- it was the USA. USA. Shark Week. Actually. Shark Week. USA. USA. Right. So this time we've right. got Garana Antarctica. Oh, what the fuck. Do you know what I've seen? Do you know what I thought that was going to be there? I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a Canada Dry. Canada Dry, yeah. That's what and I, thought. I was like, why have you not done Canada Dry yet? Um, right, so this is from Brazil. Brazil. Soaking. Absolutely soaking. Uh, I've just soaking. soaking. I'm pure soaking. That's how Ronald Valeo sings, I know. Was it? Because I'm soaking. I'm pure soaking. Was, it, <laughs> was he the one that did thoughts? Sausages? Is that, so, no, that's so that's not something else. That's that guy. No, what is the... That's how Ronald Valeo's bit where he says... Oh fuck! I can't remember. Is he's like doing like a? Oh. He's, is he doing like an animation thing, like a voiceover? I don't know. Oh fuck! I've had full of right, full. Right, anyway, so, right. So from Brazil, I can moved on. Okay, um, sorry. From Brazil, Grana extract soft drink. So like, was that? What do we know about Grana? Is that it's like a, a berry? Is that not like the, where they go about the town shouting? Garanga. Uh, Garanga. <laughs> <laughs> the Garanga guys. Let's, let's just go. Let's Isn't it like Garana's the thing they add to like give you energy? Ah, is that boost, I thought boost, it was boost, boost Guarana. Guarana. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, this why case. did they, why did Boost ever need a wee energy kick? I don't know, mate. Give you a boost. You need to change the name of it. I know, it's kind of. Hmm. hmm. It's quite pleasant. Hmm. It's an interesting flavour. Oh, it's quite interesting. It's try to be fruity, but it's not. Be a bit of it's preserved, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's quite money. The yeah, aftertaste kind of vanilla, like. What the fuck? This is good, man. Yeah. Kind of like uh, ice creamy, isn't it? At the back, mm-hmm. back end it. Oh, this. Do you know what? This is perfect for today, man. That's, do you know what? That's exactly why I started in this one. Summer vibes, man. I thought it had a summer feel to it. See the taste. The taste doesn't go over the can, though. Mm-mm. That's not how that that can doesn't taste like that. The can should be more out and out, like. Get your fucking trunks on, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Get your fucking trunks on. Official sponsor of the Brazil football team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secret yeah. of their success. That's really good, man. I think it's a very good lemonade. But it's got character. It's I got don't know if it's it's lemon- It is lemonade but it's definitely got another kind of profile, which is obviously the Garana. Any- oh, fuck, it's not, no, it's all in fucking... It's actually a lot of in Arabic. Can we Google it? Oh. Was that Jeeves? Ah, I forgot. I'll be saying you, know. you can Google it. Oh, that's quite good. Mate, what is the flavour profile with us? I don't think it's lemon. You can definitely you can make some funky drinks with this, man. As a base. You're a fan of a caipirinha? <laughs> mm. Here we go. Here's the Wikipedia page up. What do you... A, a grana flavoured soft drink. Very good grana flavour. What the fuck's grana? I think you need... Oh, it's from a subsidiary <clears throat> of Anheuser-Busch. But what is it? What's Anheuser Busch? Anheuser Busch is fucking Budweiser. Oh, the fucking deep dive is on. Fucking hell, man! It goes way deep. It goes straight to the top. Hi, Anheuser Busch. That no Bush, Budweiser. Coca Cola Company. I guess yeah. Ah, Bud Analytics Lab. Oh dear. It's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy. All I'll say is money. Look at that logo. <clears throat> Anheuser Busch. 
beard. Can we just tell him fucking beard? It's a fucking Budweiser. Is it Budweiser? It just says Guarana. Can I just <laughs> can I look up Guarana? He just what? says Guarana. What's Guarana? Good. Uh, this is this is a soft drink too. I thought. <laughs> oh my god! This is all just Guarana soft drinks. Redacted. What? Yeah, let, let's hold on. Let me just see. Let's just see what Guarana is. Taste is mild and slightly apple-like with a berry after flavour. I, 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 I fuck with that, yeah. I don't think that's true. No, nah, I think that's right, man. Carbonate water, caramel colour. The it. 2006 commercials featured Diego Maradona. Holy shit. Finding himself wearing the yellow jersey of the Brazilian national an- the Brazilian national team. Holy shit, man. There, Guarana, berry, plenty. He woke up from a nightmare because he'd been drinking Click, too much of the Guarana the day before. Quick on the Guarana. Ah, yeah, I see it. There you go. Wait a minute, it said controversial. Oh, here Fucking we go. Fucking right, man. Guarana plant. This is in that herb mate shit again. There you it? go, there mm-hmm. you go. As a dietary supplement is a effective stimulant. High mm. concentration. Twice the concentration of caffeine found in coffee beans. As a defensive toxin that repels herbivores from its berries and seeds. This is going to be one of these drinks where you're like, I don't even feel this is even... <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking buzzing in five minutes. <laughs> is it vegan though? <laughs> is it vegan? I had a vegan... It's a fucking plant. Fucking right, man. I had a vegan croissant the other day. Vegan croissant? And I was thinking... Where'd you get that? How much vegan butter is used in a vegan croissant? Right, enough vegan croissants. <laughs> let's go let's this. Enough with your vegan croissants. I'm going to go 3.5. I'm going to go with my heart. I really like that. I'd probably fucking... I'd you, probably, you don't have a heart. I'd probably stock up in that heavy. I'd go 3.8. Oof. That's heavy good man I mean it is good But I'm not going to give it As high a score as either no, of you two Because good, I will recommend it I'm going to give it a 3.2 I think it's a good base For something else mm, um, Like whiskey And all and all the madness What's it We got we got a top score It does give Garana Antarctica A 3.5 That's easy for you to say <laughs> But I mean what is that T- Say that word there Antarctica 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 is that not just how Antarctica is spelled? I don't know. I've confused myself. I'm not looking it up though. It's like Arctic monkeys. Aye, that's definitely Arctic, but then I'm sure the Antarctic isn't Antarctic. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, before we go on my next drinks, I would uh, get a new snack box. By the way. Hey, thanks Stevie for the drinks. I know. And then I was, did well, actually, he, he mention when he got it? It was Pam. It was his missus. Oh. Uh, congratulations, actually. They get engaged. Like, oh, sure. congrats, so, guys. Well. Did it watch the show? Yeah, Stevie does that. Is he a New Zealand? Is the bird a New Zealander? No, no. Uh, but I think she'd been to Brazil. That's Brazilian. Has she been to Brazil? Oh, the, this shit's from New Zealand. No, no, the snack box is shit. Why did you give give Stevie a shout out for the hockey? I did. Nice shop. Oh, cool bloody sports on Lawn Street, mm-hmm. Silk Street, Silk Street, Silk Street. Used to be on Lawn Street. They sell pucks. Aye. All the pucks. Right. Uh, you need to find anybody got that sidebar. You get it on Amazon. I know you definitely get on Amazon. So there you go. Yeah, you get it. What have we got here? Right, so snack box came from in this this week's country was New Zealand. Oh, but before snack we got to New Zealand, uh, I went back to Tubby's. The oh. Cheetos ketchup flavored. You're obsessed with these. Honestly, mate. What was Tubby's? Tubby's the eighty. Tubby's slushy the eighty slushies. These are the best crisps on these the planet right now. Alright, hey man, put my fucking floor on. <laughs> if the shoe fits, you need your shoes when you're floor running. And these, this, are, these are pretty good. They are. Honestly, I, I could tan two full bags of them. Cheers, mate, good holding. <laughs> they are oh, decent. Oh, red. I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> red, red lights all the way. That's what you're looking for. Fucking right, man. You want green on your fucking snacks? I fucking hate. I, I, I watch it. Texture vibe, really? That's not really a what's it vibe, though. Oh, it is. No, it's no what's it is. soft on that. Uh, what's this is that? the kind of shit that gets stuck in your teeth. Mm. Aye, I mean, if you don't, that's Cheetos through and through, though, man. Hey, hey, well, let's go to Brazil, hey, Brazil, New Zealand, New Zealand, cheese and bacon rations. Whoa. Rations play a on cheese, the word rations, cheese and bacon attack. Boston, my favorite cheese and bacon flavor. These golden snacks are sure to be delicious. What is the wee bot? It's a penguin. <sighs> Do you know what blows my mind? Like, imagine. Imagine you worked in this sector. What sector? The sector of like making this type of things. What do you think they're going to be like? Give me a crisp what you think they're going to be most like. Frizzles, maybe? No, um, uh, we, uh, oh, I don't know. I immediately thought quavers. Could, oh, be, could be like skips. Nah, nothing's like skips, man. 
Yeah, nothing's like skips. They're just oh, they're like. Well, these are a whole different. They're kind of all I was. No. Don't wow. get me wrong. I don't hate what's it. I just the texture of those ones are just. That's, that's why I like. That's, that's why. It, what's it? That's mm. why I like Cheetos. Like the OG Cheetos, the crunchy things. Mm. Mm. That's a crunchy what's it. This is a foamy crisp. Mm. I see. I flavors are right, but I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be going to tan on our bag. Yeah. See, other than like a cheese and onion, I, I don't. Ta- I don't really like cheese in my crisps. I don't like cheese. But and you onion. like those fucking weird things. What ones? Oh, cheese moments? The ones with the cheese in yeah. them. That's right, I fuck with that. I don't know why. I don't know why I fuck with them, man. They're like, How old is a bit of cheese in a cheese moment? Do you know what? So you've got those little bags. You've got scampi fries, bacon fries, Aye. and then you've got cheese moments all coming in those little pub bags. Aye, like on the back on the, Exactly. But the cheese moments are so elusive. They're, they're the grail. They're so hard to find. Do you know where I saw them? Where did you see them? Glencrest. That's what I'm talking about. Now we know. Wrong. Straight over there so They're wrong So wrong Mate Will we crack open the Cookie bear stripes yeah, Let's try them Just think of this right As a product a, a cheese cracker That you put an actual bit of cheese in And then leave it uh, These look a bit weird <laughs> huh? Is it just a cookie with chocolate It's just a Looks like a party thing But, but look uh, oh, If ever there was a snack That set you up for your next drink Slap <laughs> <laughs> But look at the, the biscuit bit of that. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But that's what I was trying to say about this thing. It's like, imagine, like, you know, what's this, that show? Two and a half men, right? Well, hell here we go. It's a, deep dive, it's a deep dive, right? So Charlie Sheen in that writes jingles. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he's when people ask him what he does, he has to explain that he's like... Uh, Jingle writer And they're like What have you done And he's done these Sort of like really famous Like corny Musical fun. accompaniment assistant Ah uh, exactly <laughs> Something like that It's like a weird job to explain But it's like so Imagine somebody's like So Is that your Is that your Porsche outside It's like Ah it's my Porsche What'd you do It's like Do you know The penguin for rations <laughs> That's one of mine He's like I do a lot of that stuff He's like Do you know Fucking cookie bells And that man uh, like, Do you know the well, I guess the guy that's probably designed. He's it, caked he's, out, man. He's no, he's not driving a Porsche. He's, he, driving, he's, a, he's, he's driving. driving. He's got a driver. He's driving. Uh, <laughs> driving he's one drive, of the Tesla he, trucks. Aye. Fuck Did I ever aye. tell you about the, the the hotel I stayed in in Dubai when I was doing that job, and they had like, <laughs> like a million times flex. <laughs> they had like a, it was quite a chill hotel, but it's kind of mainly for influencers, but the. <laughs> Not that, was, I was, <laughs> not that I was. Not that I was. What do you mean it was mainly for influencers? I need. I need a. Right. Uh, How can they spend so? That? Well, they just kind of. Or, but there's Brian and Margaret. They're just here for <laughs> a week, man. There was some families, but a lot of the cunts were there were like. Put it this way, all the models on the shoot, like when they went into the room, had like, a. Uh, there was like a pillow with her face on it and like their Instagram tags and there's loads of weird There's one man who influenced putting your pillow on her face. It might be this guy. <laughs> but the, uh, but on a Thursday or something, the, that pool mm. at our hotel becomes like the fucking pool party. Mm. So we were actually going out to shoot that right at the time when everyone's arriving for the pool party. And people are like pulling up in uh, for some context, the nightclub there, you can, if you pay enough money, you can park your car. On, in the nightclub in the fucking club you drive down into the club get out of your car and then you're in the club that's quite good so like that one, doesn't make sense it's, you drive under a hotel and then like the cl- where did they put did they, they valet your car no they leave it in the club do the folk know like scratch it and stuff no because it's, it's like a VIP area oh, like in a, oh fucking hell so like so you would be looking you've, up you've got like a parent child parking space with a wee table beside yeah, it basically it's fucked up but anyway, then, then you go oh, but you fuck, need to like driving that up but you need to pay like obviously like crazy money for that. Yeah. But the but all the cars arriving for the pool party, all of them were like supercars. Every single one of them, obviously rented. Yeah. Because none of the cars can afford actual these cars. But anyway, so here we go. We're leaving. We're getting into the fucking van thing that we have hired. <laughs> we're in the van. All these supercars <laughs> are pulling transit. up. Park your van in all the these, club. All these supercars are pulling up. Uh, but one car pulls up, and it's like a it's. It's not a shy car, it's like a, a nice Mercedes, but it's like nowhere near on the level of these Lambos. Is that a pure 03 plate or some <laughs> shit? Everyone getting out of the supercars are all like model likes mm. types or like like young sh- shakes with models on their arms. The guy that pulls up in the Merc gets out the, like, somebody gets out the front seat, runs around, 
opens the door, lets him get out, puts his slippers down for him, he puts his wee slippers on, he walks into the hotel, he looks like pure Jake. And you're like, wait a minute, he owns a hotel, doesn't he? Oh, he's like, chilling. this is like... Did I ever tell you the story about Spice Girls when no. a shake turned up? So Oh, did you mention that I'm in doing the night? Spice Girls at Murray, Murrayfield, uh, and like I'm the on-the-ground event manager, so like anything that's going through control, anything that's happening, like I, I'm getting on the radio, and I'm like, Andy, can you head to box office? There's a Sheikh Mohammed there, and he was he, he wants to meet the Spice Girls, and you're like, what? And I, I, I so I walked down, um, and there's like three limos, and like the guy, <laughs> the, 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 the like fixer comes up, and he's like. Uh, I was just wondering if he could meet the band and he's like, pay. And he was just like, they were just offering, he was just turned up, like hoping they could meet the Spice Girls. Just because he's, he's like, they, he's, they've got tickets and all that. I was like, it's not going to happen. He's like, see, because of who he is though, because you maybe let us in like a, a wee back door so that he doesn't need to walk, park up there and then walk for miles. I was like, so we sorted that out for him and then they get out and they had these like pure yellow plastic ponchos on and then they just went into the crowd and just. <laughs> Just like enjoy the gig, shake, man. It was so he didn't get any of them. No, 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 not at all. Logistically, though, that's shade. Though you can't just. I go mean, you can't rock up on the day and, and just be a like. I know, but show. surely, like that's worth the punt to go at Miss Halliwell. The shakes down the stair, and he's got like he's got fifty grand for each of you, man. Yeah. All you need is. Yeah, but shake, then, the yeah, but then it's like you're you're they're like and they're gonna go out and chat to this guy, and it's like. What do you mean you? What, what do you mean you've got money? Like, <laughs> that we can't can just. We, but we also can't just walk in and go. There's fifty. There, there's a whole. Yeah. There's a. There's a logistical legal yeah, issue. But just going. Like I got a little something for you. Yeah. The point I was. You should have went like, listen, mate. It's going to run you about eight G's for me to go back and ask. <laughs> if I don't come back, it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> but I still get eight G's. <laughs> <laughs> I need eight G's up front. Now. The uh, the point was. I've got Venmo. Those with drivers are definitely get more cake. Oh, than oh those you need the driver. Yeah. But I mean, he, he had like three cars, and it was like a big gang, and we were all turning up to what, just go to the gig anyway. They had tickets, but he was like, "I've pulled up to the front. Here, Billy, I'm a shake. Go and ask if we can just meet them in that." It was weird. This is another. How do you one. verify a, a shake, though, man? Here's another. I mean, the three cars with the flags on it were enough for another me. quick sidebar. I was just oh, think, for some reason I was thinking about a movie prop. Uh, <laughs> thinking about people who. Like the, the kind of thing, you know, the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger things. Like, you smoke yours, you like, I smoke my stogie in the house. You mm. definitely don't smoke yours. Like, your missus tells Excellent. you you're not allowed. I was thinking about this line of like being like, like someone like an Elon Musk going, You drive your own car. That's embarrassing That's for you. So but then bad. I was thinking, Wait a minute. See, you know, that thing of like, you, this thing of like, whatever technology is available to us now, you, you can only imagine what's behind the scenes, like uh. the like, fucking NSA and CIA and all uh. these kind of. I was thinking, imagine Elon Musk's actual motor. But yeah, the thing's like an actual spaceship. But then, what's he ever doing with it? Like, you, if you're that rich, you're like, oh, I'll just nip down to the shops. You're like, mm. no, I'll send him to go to the shops. Yeah, man. He's only ever going for a drive round his track, maybe, or something like that. If he's ever going to somewhere, somewhere. You don't think Elon Musk goes to the shops? Hits a Tesco real quick. Nah, no chance. I'm sending somebody. If I don't need to go to a Tesco, I'm not going to. But is that the point you get so rich where it's like, I'd rather just do this for myself? I think there's an element to that, but I'd more likely just go, by the way, just going to put my car, put a couple of my nice cars in a fucking carrier, take them up to like rural Montana, yeah. and I'll just spin about at the cabin, but I, I, don't, I don't want to sit in like LA <coughs> traffic, man. Aye, I'm not driving up there. Nah. Right, one, one last night before we went on the strike, and these were, when I got, I had, I'd bought loads of Australian and New Zealand sweets before, and somebody says, Oh, you've got to get these. And I was like, I don't fancy them. But what then the they fuck is it? Snack box. They're called pineapple lumps. And it's. Chocolate. Chocolate pineapple. Now, that was open, but that was only open because when I picked it, when I went and picked it up for downstairs, Jenny's like, I need one of them. So I've not tasted these. I have no idea what oh, I'm yeah. like. I'm going to double. Not what I was expecting. Oh, that pineapple gram. Just some dank chocolate. It's like a foam banana. A wee bit. Like that's sticking a bit. It's not. In my head, I thought it was going to be like pineapple jelly. Kind yeah, of like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Like that's what a... I thought it was going to be. It's not bad. It's kind of got a vibe of uh, chocolate taste. Like chocolate fucking... bila. Yeah. Chocolate tastes like a fucking advent calendar. Ah, that is fucking cooking chocolate. I know, man. That's dank. That's rank. Right. Let's get a drink up. Right, let's get a drink up, man. Yeah. Strangely, I want another one, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Pass me the Bila. They're quite good. This is, this one, we've had it for a while and I've wanted to do it for a while and it is a, 
Glassbottle. Okay. It's the COVID denier. We're back. Oh. We're back. Happy Freedom Day, y'all. Shout out <laughs> Fraser Yuri for this one. I shout out Fraser Yuri. So this is the... Um, yeah, they chocolate pineapples are actually all right. You fucked up. The, the, the old Mathesons. And this is the... I go again. Sai Jala. Now, this I believe is... I think is the Sprite mm-hmm. one. But and it, they used to be called. It used to have Sprite in the name, but then they got like done, and they had to take it off. Um, who's your VAR reference on yours? Mine's is Al Green. Mine's Franz Boas. Mine's George Benson. Give me the night. What's what's your what's your underlacked? Cofardi. Ah, it's the same. I just didn't same. know if that was a mad word or something. Uh, and it's yours. Is everyone at the bomb signed by O'Matheson himself? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Drink you a special one. I like. The f- is the COVID shit in the back of this yeah, one? So yeah, we've got the COVID nineteen eighty four five G ID twenty twenty event two hundred one on the back of the text again on this. Uh, for those of you who missed the last episode, basically uh, these were on sale in supermarkets and all that across Norway, and then somebody just eventually spotted that the text is. Yeah, pump the brakes, man. Go right oh. down at the bottom under the three thirty mil. These circles are the warnings. Is that a baseball? A first, no, the first one is a mask. So it is. Second one's a strong man. A dog. No, he's got a backpack on. No, he's like a, doing a muscle oh, man. He's a muscle man. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe another What's one. What's the other one? Like the a world? map, map of the world. Um, what does this mean? I don't know. Oh, come on. I love shit, this man. So, have you got the Salmus or Spark 2021? Use no, it? I mean, it's 20.5. 20. What, in the back? Aye. What's your name? Mine's just 2017. What the fuck? Like, like 17 minutes past eight. Yeah, so mine's is 21 minutes past eight. Yours is five minutes past nine, nine. really. So uh, on the back, COVID 1984, 5G, ID 2020, Event 201. The I guy's been in, a, he's been in a couple of interviews and I he has said cunt. that he, he just put it in there. He's not saying that he supports or is against it, although it seems that he is, does support it, but he's like, he hasn't said that on this, so they shouldn't have been taken off. He says he just put those words oh, on there to generate discussion. I didn't get a lot of fuzz. No, no. These I have been sitting in the special. I think the last one was like that, but it still was good. So this may be like Sprite vibes. Mm. Not very Sprite. Yeah, I'm getting more Alimka. Ah, yeah, I was just about to say more that. More Alimka vibe, man. I fuck with her. I feel like I'm drinking swimming pool water. You said that with Alimka, mate. You didn't. You weren't a fan of Alimka. No, oh, you weren't, man. This is a weird vibe. I don't really think it's obvious. It's just like when you jump in a pool and get water up your nose. I get, I, I do, and that, that second taste I had there, there is a wee bit of a. <laughs> I just thought about that scene from Dave. <laughs> Talking about the pools in the swimming pool. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, <laughs> on you go, share it with the class. <laughs> oh, you can watch it. Don't I talk about shows that we haven't all seen that shit, but it's just that just that, hit me there. The, the, but to be fair, the latest episode that you've not even I seen, I need to see that shit, man. Is next level. So, um, talking about Dave, uh, Dave show on, on FX. FX. Uh, although season one is on BBC iPlayer, if you do want to catch up, I enjoy that. That's good. So it's different. I actually, I, don't know. I prefer it to the Coke. No, the, the, Inca, the Grana that we oh, just really? done. That is fresh. That is um, definitely fresh, man. I'm, I'm going to give it a three point four. I'm going to give it a two point eight. Ooh. Let me get one more. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. It's Moorish, but it's also like getting drowned in a pool. No, I could see me sitting on the fucking fence on the harbour down Oslo, man, just like that. Um, but I'll give it a three point. Yeah, three point four. If you can find us, which you What's that definitely... harbour called again? Fleegan's dog? No, 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 no. Nah. What's yeah. it called? It's Antenna. Akabriga. Akabriga? That, that is. is it, eh? Yep. Well done. Hey, so I just got some... a step into my mind palace for a minute. something there. bridge. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> C. Jala from O. Matheson's. C. Jala. Scores itself a 3.2. Sure. It does It does make it on the, the recommendation. Mm. Um, two for two on the recommendations today. Not bad. So fresh, though. For a summer's day, I feel like you know, any fresh packs, any drink right now is getting a favourable yeah, mention. Yeah, yeah. Especially he's gonna, if it's he's cold. Although it's not as warm as it was when we started. It's still too warm. Yeah. You're wearing trousers. What do you want? Do you want me to take my trousers off? <laughs> they mentioned Dave there because that's obviously a TV show. We're watching what you're watching now. I just finished. I just watching... watch. I just watch things I make myself. <laughs> <laughs> I make my own TV. Uh, I'm watching Shetland. Shetland. No, what was I watching? Finished watching Lupin. You watch oh, that? Oh shit, yeah, I meant to watch that though. Yeah, that's good. Do you, want, um, do, you want me, do you want me to make a confession? Yeah. I get rid of Netflix. Ah, you told me this. Because I was just like... I don't know how I feel about it. I was, I was watching... I what do you subscribe to? What channels? Everything, everything, I, genuinely, I have 
everything. I think I've got everything. Apple TV. <laughs> got that. Amazon. I've got Netflix, that. Netflix, I've got that. Um, this is like being a kid with things. Got a class. Uh, I just log on to you guys. I know you do your fucking dick. Oh, and then I, I've got. Every time I go in my master class, it's like, dogs. do you want to continue your dog training? I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't have a dog. What do you do? Learn how to make trance with Armin Van Buren or train your dog to do a backflip, man. Uh, but then I've got the I've got the the, the chipped fire stick with every TV channel know. on the planet, which is nuts because literally I have all these streaming platforms essentially on that same. Yeah, I stick. mean, but th- th- I was reading something yesterday, and it was like there's a reason why you can't go into Netflix and just view all the movies that they've got because you would probably just unsubscribe from it because their movie selection is pretty grim. Um, well, I just I just felt like. I just had this thing of like everybody just holds on to all these services and you guys are obviously probably super guilty. I don't watch that much stuff and Netflix was becoming the worst one Yeah, where the front page always looked the same and unless I wanted to watch the newest Netflix thing, yeah, it was like, where are the films? Where are... And ah. it would just be like, I can't just keep... Just... I don't know what my go-to was on there. Obviously mm. the US office ended up on there but... So I was like, do you know what? I'll just dip out until... Yeah. Such times. So I think, actually, I got I got Britbox the other day. I think Disney Plus is one of the best now. I think that's. Box. I think. Well, this is the thing. What is Shetland is surprisingly hard to watch. It's not. It's on Amazon, but you have to buy it episode by episode. Ah, fuck so that. it's a Britbox exclusive. So I got a free trial for that, and I, I'm going to rinse the bit of the Shetland. I'm also on Mubi and Mubi. Uh, oh, you have the Criterion, yeah. yeah. But I just, you know, it's like. I mean, my subscriptions are like. Easily over a hundred quid. Oh, but you watch a lot of stuff. Time. I watch a lot of stuff. You do watch shame. a lot of stuff, but I like there's just a lot of things that people are like, oh, I'm into that. Like the long haul series. Mm. I'm just like, nah, I don't. I, you know what I mean? I'd rather something was just like six, seven. Yeah. So I, I've watched. I, so what did I watch? Time, which was the BBC. I've not seen that yet. Yeah, that was Graham, good. That uh, was good. Sean Penn was good. Really good. It's only three episodes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then. Yesterday I watched the Amazon movie The Tomorrow War. Oh, is this the Chris Pratt, oh. Chris Pratt one? He's went fucking funny, hasn't he? Well, I don't... Has he went funny or is it just the entire industry's went funny? No, he specifically went pure... He had this thing of like... Right, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt history session. Chris Pratt rose to fame in Parts and Recreation, yep. was cast in Jurassic World... Got got no was what? cast in Guardians of the Galaxy as the ah. funny guy as the main guy, but got had to get fit because it's a Marvel film. But back to Parts and Rec was now like the pure handsome guy that yeah. sometimes couldn't like couldn't be in an episode because he was doing the Marvel films. Mm. Parts and Rec finishes. He now he goes, he goes full Hollywood, gets cast in Jurassic World and all that. No, he should really have passed. If Dished, he passed on Jurassic World and went and did another Parts. That's these misses. You know who the misses was who. Yeah. Uh, Half a scary movie and Lost in Translation. Anna Faris. Anna, Anna Faris. Faris. Ditched Faris. Do you know who he's married to now? Anna Faris. Arnie's daughter. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really? Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter. But in the process of doing all that, got went pure Bible daft. Uh, really? So he became like a lot. I like he's always and his church that. apparently are like his like specific church that he pure bats for are, are like not very nice people. Like, Quite saucy. Westboro. Not quite, not quite Westboro, West, <laughs> but like <laughs> definitely Chris like, Pratt is in the Westboro Baptist Church. Chris that Pratt is exclusive. And, he's training with Arnie. He smokes his doggies in the house. He's definitely smokes doggies. Reads his Bible in the house. <laughs> I didn't know in this. So it's kind of like he's kind of went a wee bit like. Hmm. Film was a bit weird. It, it wasn't the best. Um, but then I've got a few films on my list that I've not watched yet. Uh, What's that? Now you're gone. You had my QR. See, what's well, the line from uh, from uh, Django? He goes. You had my curiosity. Was now you have my attention. New, new Anne Hathaway film. Um, that, that's, I do like Anne Hathaway. But, uh, but I don't know. What it's this. like a it's a COVID based one. And oh, it's like, oh, oh yeah. no! It's like she. The, oh no! She's, she's got, they're about to split up as a partner, and then it goes out of lockdown. And they're stuck together. Mm. I'm sure. It, but oh. um, at the same time, they're trying to do a fucking di- diamond heist or something like that. Lockdown. It's called lockdown. lockdown. Oh shit! Uh, mm. And then there's something about in the grass and the long grass. In the thick grass, I don't know, something like that, but I'm sure it's a. Mm. I've not heard of that either. It's what was the last movie you watched? Me? Oh, shit. Um... Austin Powers. I did watch Austin Powers. I know you did. Did. <laughs> For a specific reason, but uh, I don't know, mate. I feel there was a supporting artist in I've the background so, looking at boxes. I've just, been so, I've just been so busy with work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you? DJing yet? Have you been done any DJing? 
Nah, since, not really, man. I mean, I know because only since yesterday, pubs and are allowed to open till midnight. Didn't you do the sanctuary the other week? Maybe because what ninth? <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? No, I don't get it's like that, but um, ninth it's, August. It's a great area. Ninth August. It's, clubs are allowed back. Maybe this is the talk, yeah. Uh, but obviously, Boris was just slipping bombs in <laughs> yesterday. Just like so, but surely, September like, double jab or no entry. But is, isn't it Scotland specific anyway? Doesn't yeah, like totally Sturgeon have to I mean, like yeah. say? Aye, yeah. because she's just gonna go like, no, nah, I'm just I'm fucking mental now. She'll be like, if you're working in a club in Scotland, you need three jabs. Man. Aye, you need three jabs, and you've got to wear. An She'll get jabbed. <laughs> Hey. Stick a dildo up Thatcher's ass. This last film we watched some fucking Danish <laughs> documentary uh, on Technically, Wheeling. I actually watched Lovers Rock on uh, the iPlayer last night, which is technically a film. Don't know what it is. You know, Steve McQueen that made the, uh, not the actor, <laughs> the one that, <laughs> made, the one that uh, made, he made like uh, Hunger, Shame, uh, Widows. Did you see Widows? Yeah. With Colin Farrell. Um, is that the one? So he did this like, He's he it's like five short films for the BBC that sort of like are loosely based in sort of celebrating the Windrush generation. Oh yeah, yeah. What was the one? So Lovers Rock, the one that's got all the sort of like plot. This is essentially like a sort of like sub community of Jamaican people in the it must be the sixties or seventies, and the, the the film is essentially a house party. Like they just have this fucking madhouse party with the, oh, what was the name of the fucking music? The, it's not the oceanic sound or something. It kept saying the, fuck. There was a thing with a pure like they're, they're, it's all that. I'm not even gonna do the voice, but they're pure rasta kind of. This is the sound that the ah, voice yeah, fucked yeah. up. This is. <laughs> um, but the, I, I was good. It was, it was kind of slow. Show it to the rasta voice. No, the last one I watched that wasn't like that was a. Uh, the Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Have you ever, seen, ever heard of that? I must have missed that one. Oh, I must have. I must in have, cinemas? I must have slipped off on Netflix. 70s? <laughs> 70s? I wasn't in... It's good. The I killing. watched actually the first episode then. What happens in it? The ki- <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the bookie doesn't last long. No, it's, it's about... It's Where actually it quite interesting. It's, it's shot in LA. It's about... A, it's about a, basically a, a strip club owner who's got gambling addictions and he gets fucking he gets caught up with their own guys and they're like the only way you can wipe off your debt is if you kill this uh, Chinese bookie oh, yeah. but uh, the that guys they come up with the name I think that's how they come up with the name that's good the John Cassavetes I watched the first episode of a TV show on Netflix yesterday uh, and it's about Lupin no Lupin's good I've not watched Lupin it's, I keep seeing it but I've never went to well, watch it good. Um, but it's Young lassie who goes to Cambridge and ends up shagging our, uh, like Professor, lecturer. Yeah. Aye. Um, oh wait, film? No, no, it's a oh. TV series. It's only four episodes, I'm sure. I don't know. It's quite annoying. I'm going to look up what that's called because it, it was actually really good. Because like in the first episode, he's got a wife, um, and she dies in the first episode because the house burns down. Oh uh, dear. Is it called How to Shag a Professor? That's and, it. Austin and, Powell's How to Shag a Professor. <laughs> There's a bit in Austin Powell's. I, I don't I don't mean saying this. There's a bit in Austin Powell's when because uh, I started watching it again. And there's the is the the de- first sorry, it was called the Deceived. The Deceived. <laughs> there's a bit where uh, it's the first time Liz Hurley is presented to Austin. And uh, he's ta- he's talking <laughs> like is there enough voice, isn't he working? Is this the skit? And he goes like that. I bet she shags like a minx. I was like, fucking hell, man, 1997. I know. <laughs> he gave absolutely no fucks. How was I, I mean, that's Shrek saying that. <laughs> was that a good show? I, it was, I've only watched the first episode, but it was good. I'll definitely be... Do I know a toilet show? What? That I watched, and it's toilet. Uh, toilet? And it kind of got some hype. Uh, the flight attendant. Is that what it's called? Alex. Kelly Coco Coco. Oh, I don't know. Kelly Coco. What was it called? It was on Sky. What do you got? I... Uh, Aye, the, the last kinda, Big Bang for you. Yeah, aye, that looked nice. First episode, I was like, "That's quite a good setup. It could be dark, and then it was just literally like, it was like CSI. Yeah, it turned out to be like What's CSI. What's your Space Jam yet? No, I haven't. Right. But the guy I was working with, he was said he was he was going to cinema. I've got, see the got to got on King. the list to watch with the, with the kids try to get him into Space Jam. Surely, if you want to get him into Space Jam, you just watch Space Jam. I know, but like they'll get bored because it's old school. Here's animation. my here's my fucking thing that I'm disappointed in about it that I've not, I've not seen it yet, but I know some. <laughs> Some of the, the controversy surrounding it. Pepe Le Pew was has ditched. never played in the NBA. Pepe Le Pew <laughs> yeah, ditched. That's true. He was ditched because apparently he's a womanizer. 
Yeah. Cancelled. Can't see myself. Yeah, Warner Brothers have managed to like shoehorn in uh, the drugs from uh, Clockwork Orange in the background of some of the shots. And what? So I'm like, so Pepe doesn't get in, but it's all right to shoehorn in the. They're only supporting artists. So. Exactly. <laughs> Are you seen that's what they're doing though? like to like create the world is like rather than it being like the Toon world the, essentially the whole Warner Brothers world is involved in it so that's so, like, mental they can yeah. uh, who like again who kiboshes Pepe Le that's Pew? what I was going to say like, see going back to like people that illustrate fucking cartoons for Chris Pack it's like like see when you come in the morning everyone's like grabbing coffee getting some tea sitting down really cool right what are we doing is like right first thing in Angela Pew like what are we doing about Le Pew and People in suits round a table discuss whether or not to get rid of Pepe Le Pew. But there, there are people out there whose sole goal in life is to be offended by anything. But don't and that's what do you is. think it's like fine for 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 Pepe Le Pew to do his do his Pepe Le Pew stuff? But it's because it's in that universe. Whereas like people would just say, well, if it's animation, you know, it's not serious. Like Family it's Guy, not just that. animation though. He's a fucking animal. Offset. Like no, <laughs> <laughs> he's notorious in Hollywood. <laughs> the like, him and Spacey were running <laughs> sets. <man. laughs> oh my god, that is the Roger Rabbit sequel. But you, you so we you, we grew up with Pepe Le Pew. But he was never like a mainstay. He was just a pure like he was, ah, he he was not. A, he, was not a, he was not. You get like money. five minutes of Pepe. They try to chase the Mrs. Pepe, and then she be like, "Fuck off." Yeah, he also smoked. Uh, fuck it, guys! That was a skunk, an actual skunk. <laughs> and they're arguing about whether he's a womanizer or not. Let's get an old drink out. Someone yeah. in a suit made that argument. He's a fucking skunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got him, skunk. <laughs> he's like, I've had enough of this. I'm not talking about it anymore. Get the fuck out! I'll happily leave. So tying us in with the uh, New Zealand snacks. Oh, oh there shit! He is. Oh, the yeah, the show got better when Andy started picking all the drinks, didn't right, it? Man, <laughs> Look at that. Kurt's Cola Beer. Nick, hit me with this thing written round the rim. This ain't just any kind of drink. This is Kirk's Cola Beer. Some say it was created by a genius of taste, especially for the people of... Western wow. Australia. Is it? Yeah, I would guess so. Western Australia. No, wait. I thought, I thought it was New Zealand. But, oh. um... Others say it was just a happy accident. I did buy it from Sansa, which is South Africa, it New says Zealand, made Australia. in Australia. So, um, yeah. this you, is you know, you, go, you know, you go to Disney and you go to the no fucking idea. like shows, man. Like, we're in the fucking splash, zone, right? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna come up with my fucking ask the shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before, we, before the crackies, what are we, what do we even get? What are we even getting? Yeah, I'm expecting a cola, and that might be a bit mad because it, it does look ginger beery, cola beer. beer, but I'm expecting a cola. Um, <gasps> manufactured and sold by Coca Cola, quite a chunky, Ooh. quite a chunky can. What's this? 375. Oh yeah, it's a wee bit. It's got girth. It's, a, it's oh, taller. Oh fuck! I've just read barley in the back and malt powder. Oh, oh no, it's got to be beer in it. Oh no, you should have said time that. Time for a barbecue. I bet it's money. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, just that before, is not that's not a malt beery smell. Just before you go in, by the way, Seamus uh, got in touch to say that he had a, a Fritz cola and was disappointed. Oh snap! Do you know what it smells? It smells like red cola to me. It does, man. It's definitely not malt because when you open, when you open anything with the malt, that's the first thing it crawls out. Whoa, yeah. what's this then? That's like red cola. That's the closest thing. You know how the you know how like the mm, I don't think it's red cola. The it's <laughs> yellow cola. Man, it's weird. It's like fizz up the front. Yeah, but then it, it, and it, it gets real really syrupy. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what it's like at the back end of this? It's raspberry sauce and an ice cream. I mean, to me, this is this is red cola. Like, I. Can't, I I, think, I don't think I could AB this against Red Cola. And, and it's a difference. good Red Cola. You're yeah, getting yeah. that raspberry sauce at the back. It's sneaking up, man. It's quite good, eh? Different, diff- switching lanes from the first two. I feel it's like a raspberry cola. Mm. It's weird because I thought cola, then you said barley, so I, my, my expectations are up here, then you said barley. And it's I was like, like this salty is so and shy. syrupy at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's quite good, eh? Do you just burp in my general direction? Hi. I fart in your what film is that from? I fart in your general direction. What's that? You know, Monty Python. Oh, okay. Holy Grail. No artificial colours or flavours. Mm. Um, what are we on the sugar? This here? is bizarre, isn't it? 40, 40 I'm not 
I mean, I'm I'm thankful to the generosity of Kirk's uh, for giving us 375 milliliters, but but it's um, I need this in a shot glass, man. This is too much. No, I mean it's I mean, I like it. Definitely like original choices today. Oh, no fucking right. Skulls. Let me see what's up. Hit a score. What are the school? We will try to explain to two. Uh, can you call them millennials? They're probably not millennials, are they? Courtney and Liam. Mm -hmm. We'll try to explain them the uh, Shun Styles. Oh, yeah, try to explain them like Matt, Reeves, Reeves, Matt Lucas was. Stephen Vic Reeves fucking disco stuff. I'm going to give it a 3.1. Uh, re still recommend it, but uh, what are the scores? Jaws does. Three point one. It's the best, man. I'm a giant baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. I'm a baby. <laughs> what was that about that era, you know, man? You just, that shit just, <laughs> just hit. Just nonsense. The dove, nonsense. The dove from dove. above. Uh -huh. <laughs> ka, ka, ka. What a show, man. They just look like having the best time. See the thing is so. And now to see are. what gave you like straight off the bat before we had this conversation what gave you more catchphrases chewing the fat or shooting stars I think most people would say chewing, chewing the fat and they'd be like okay name me the catchphrases from all yeah. but you'd be able to name so many more catchphrases from, stars, man, eh, from shooting stars I know man that was a hitter man I always say like I know it's not really the same thing but I'm always like see if you say to someone do I go to an ABBA gig like ABBA come on I'd will go to an ABBA gig I know some, but some people be a bit like and then be like you know every song here Ah. Every fucking one. Yeah, I, an, an ABBA gig would be amazing. Well, I made the point the other day when Amy and my mum were watching um, Mamma Mia 2. I was like, at one point, someone in the office and went, right, let's do it again. They're like, mm, we used all the good songs in the first one. They're like, all right, at least we've got Meryl. They're like, mm, Meryl does why I do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to kill it off and bring in Shell. Fuck. Total ABBA gig. Um, they're, they're currently building a big thing down in England to do a Abba theme park no a six month like residency they're building a venue for the Abba gig then they're going to once they've done the residency they're going to knock it down and they're building a venue specifically for Abba to play yep a six month are they all residency. alive still huh? yeah yeah oh shit. easy hello right, hey, right what's what scoring this year what are scores Jaws Dogs yeah I'll probably go I'll probably go 3.2 I'd recommend it if you can find it get it it's uh, easy where are you going now Nick okay. even 3.1 3. It's uh, It's alright It's good That gives I feel a bit Kirk's Cobia 3.1 Cool babe That That is Oh, oh no, our camera's <laughs> gone, gone, gone Oh no we lost the camera uh, That's 3 for 3 All on Tres our recommendation 3 for 3 These are good hits man These are good like Good going Good going okay. Needed it today man Needed hydration and it's also, I felt like we should come back with some big hitters. They come back strong. But in saying that, see when I picked them, I wasn't picking them all thinking these are all going to be hitters. I just thought they were interesting. All interesting, yeah. Well, interesting hitters. Uh, what have you got planned for the rest of the week? Yeah. What day is it? It's my, We're recording my, on Tuesday. They'll be listening to this on Sunday. It's my brother-in-law's brother, brother -in -law's 30th tonight, so I've gone over there for some hangs. Did you get my nice present? I did. Where'd you come? Well, you, I can say because uh, I can't even hear this Sunday. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some I bought a big a, a box of wine that's been like taking up my fucking like a giant thing, and it's not even like you can just kick it around because it weighs. You a bought my box of wine. I don't know. The, his missus was like, "Yo, this is we were just like going to just tell us a box with bottles in it, not a box with a bag of wine." In it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she was just kind of like we're like going to just tell some shit he wants. Like just then she was like, "Oh, I think he wants wine from this place." So it's like I don't know a wine shop make up a big box. I went to a birthday Love party him. on Sunday. It's a five-year-old's birthday party. Oh, what did they, they have? They had a petting zoo. No. And a bouncy castle. Uh, and a face painter. It was class. Uh, these were all in the start of did which film? Did you get film? face painted? No. Huh? These were all in the start of which film? A Billy Madison? Madison? No. They actually were in Billy Madison. It's not at the start though. Big Daddy? No. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, so it is, yeah. Um, there you go. By the way, tarantula, a snake, a Argentinian hissing cockroaches, a Taurus, a rabbit, this is the pen zoo. A duck. Whose party was this? Uh, do I don't know. We last. Fucking. Voice. What do you call Malfoy's? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a chicken. Uh, a guinea pig. Was this in the Darvel? Aye. Yeah, it was just it someone from Ivy School. What was the no, food? What was uh, the food the like? Uh, oh, the boys. Was How was the, the food? Was How did the boys know a five year old? Because Travis is five. You mad bastard. Is he? Aye. All right. There you go. Then. <laughs> um, like they're in nursery with the wee girl. Um, um, okay. Um, 
But aye, uh, Travis held a tortoise, which we were pretty excited about. Uh, food he was scared good. of flies. We, I know. But did they like pet a chicken then eat chicken? Uh, aye, they, they did pet and eat. Uh, anyway, pet food. And eat. They had uh, potato stars. Okay. Which were good, like a waffle, but in a star shape. Corn dogs. They had corn dogs? They had corn dogs. Holy shit, man. Uh, they had sandwiches, just, sausage rolls. Just not an island thing now. Um, corn dogs. The usual crisp snacks. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, sweeties. Any bouncy castles or anything? Ah, there's bouncy castle. Ooh. Bouncy castle and a uh, face painter. Um, Any did your kids ones? get a face paint? What's, what's the go to these days? Uh, Spider Man. Travis, no, Travis didn't get his face paint. Taylor was a tiger. Taylor a tiger? Uh, Taylor was. So we went to the big feed, you know, the big feed yeah. street Shell. food area in Glasgow. Um, they, that was the first time they ever got a face painting on a couple of weeks ago, and it was Taylor. And he went up and he's like, I want a tiger. But Taylor's only three. And he's the smoothest wee guy in the world. So the glass he's painting his face, and he's just he just stopped on and went, really like your mask. <laughs> and he's like, he's so <laughs> smooth, man. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Buys. Uh, do part. you remember? I remember being a kid, and uh, everyone wanted their face painted like Taro, the Ultimate Warrior. Ah, oh, that's good. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. That's um, good. Do you have a right birthday party memories from your wee? So mm. I remember. I think I must have been twelve, and my mate. Ian Hughes, uh, if you listen to this, I'll be amazed. Hughesy? Uh, Shug? Sh- Shusy? He, he came round the day after my birthday Shus- party with a present for me, and it was a Garfield keyring. So it was probably about the size of your palm, like kind of plastic moulded Garfield keyring with 40 pens taped to the bottom of it. Um, but the keyring was like his before. He just like, then he, he was like, oh, well, I'm going to give me any money for a present, so I'm giving you something that. I mean, I don't know why that stuck in my mind. And, and, he gave, and he gave you 40p. Aye, ah, he gave me 40 It's quite gangster, man. That is, I mean, it's, for kids to be selfless like that, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's good. Um, I can't really think of any mad parties, I mean. I've got like a mad family album and there's some seminal pictures of like my parties when I was kids. But I'm not really, I got to, pretty quickly, I was just like, I don't, I don't want to be made a fuss of. Just want to be like the Lord of the Rings. made a fuss of. When I was about <laughs> 12 or 13, I was like, I had a party in Oliver's. Do you remember Oliver's? In Paisley? No. It was like a sandwich shop. <laughs> <laughs> you had a party in Pret. <laughs> Basically. Do you remember oh, Oliver's? Oh, all of it, but it was like, was it not like Olds? Like a kind of baby <laughs> type but It was kind of like, it was like, aye. Where was it? Um, <clears throat> I think of it as like the other side of the cart from the, uh, like, I, hmm. <laughs> Fuck it, this is good. Is it something? Is it Cossy? Maybe Cossy Side Street, but just round the back of. I can't remember. I don't know. I mean, you're, you're unlocking some memories. Here. Oliver's was a spot, though. Yeah, yeah no, you're um, unlocking memories at home. And there were. I went in many parties on there, like other kids yeah. had parties. Yeah. Do you remember the Wimpy? It used to be on. Yeah, the yeah, I remember that. My brother had a McDonald's party when we were younger. I was going to say, I thought the McDonald's party was a hang. I never had one. Yeah, I remember, I remember going to a couple of them. I've got photos of like having parties in like my house and stuff, and I was but in my street growing up. It was like me and nine wee lassies. Like that was just what was in... Good odds. <laughs> uh, so it was just always photos of me with my cake and then like nine wee lassies all sitting around me. Um, You're dressed up like a wee lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Having a tea party. Um, uh, uh, no, the birthday... I don't. I, I kind of... I never had an 18th... Oh no, I had a... Yeah, I, did, I had a dinner hang with like, my family. I never had like a party. I, like, I had a party. I remember Where like party, people cut me a haul or anything like uh, that. The, the Abbey Inn. And Paisley, which is like by that point, I was just DJing other kids' parties, <laughs> man. But um, bar mitzvahs. No, I, I was never. We, we, I don't think I had any. We parties would go to the B Theater, which was the kind of OG, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Brewers Fair type Aye. thing. Where I remember when, the, when that first came to School Bride, it was one of these things. Be like, oh, I went on. Crack, man, I yeah. went on a date to the B Theater in East School Bride. That's what I'm talking about. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? She done the stairs. <laughs> um, I'm going to the cinema then. It went pretty well. Oof. Is that first time in a while? First time since Tenet what last summer. See? Limbo. Limbo. Some Danish pish. How low can you go? Some Scottish pish. Uh, it's actually looks oh, alright. I actually saw this. Is this the one we? I wanted to remember when you San, did the th- Sanjeev Kohli on it. Mm, yeah, he may be on yeah, it. Yeah, give me the premise of the film. The premise of the film is there is a group of. The refugees, uh, refugees ah, in Cole, one of the Scottish islands, yeah. and I don't really, I don't know if it's a holding island and then he got off of it or yeah. yeah. So now I saw the trailer, Sandy Cole is it? Well, there's a Q and A Q&A with Ben Sharrock tonight at the at the Benny sir. He's at the oh, GFT. What's your question? <laughs> you need any cut? <laughs> I, I had a question. I thought of a question this morning, but I, I don't think I'll ask. What camera you got? 
I was going to say, what other what films did you rob? <laughs> what other fucking, stuff you done? What, what films did you rob and put on this one? Because that seems to be like the more and more I watch older films, the more and more I'm like, oh, okay. oh they bumped us. Like someone else bumped this entire like premise or that's scene. Or so man. I mean, that's what it is, but th- that's when I kind of just wanted to bring him back down a bit. But like, fuck you, Ben Sherlock. <laughs> ah, stop stealing our folks' ideals. Nick Half Train director. I just want to say, <laughs> just pretend. <laughs> Award winning director. New Hollywood. Sit <laughs> so there with a fucking. Award winning. Li- <laughs> if you just look here to see 4B. <laughs> the lion. That's not a real lion. The lion won't make an appearance in the show at some point. Bring him in then. Right, we crack on with our last drink. Yes. Our, our final drink. When are we going to win a podcast award? A poddy? I don't know if anybody listens to this podcast. I don't know. I, don't know. I know one guy does. Show my man. Jim Coates. James oh, Coates. Do you talk about that before we get the last drink out? I James. Let's, let's show love, man. What do you want me to say? Just well, show I mean, love, just, man. I think we really should share the review. I, how are we going to do that? The video. Are we going to play it right now? No, but we could put it on Instagram. We could put it on Instagram. My stepdad left us a, a review in the same uh, fashion that we would do a five star with this review. It was actually more. I'll tell you what, we watched it full in the morning after uh, I had uh, finished directing my second music video within three days. And I was shot. I didn't know why I even be doing music videos anymore <laughs> or directing. And then I seen that at four in the morning. I was kinda, it kind of cheered me up because I was like, oh, Facts. at least, uh, at least there's so a life there. outside of this fucking nonsense. But. What was it he reviewed? He reviewed... Oh, it was McDade's Cream Soda? McDade's Cream Soda. Mm. I sent him my mum up the road with uh, three yeah, McDade's. What I was thinking, though, was that maybe we should post gyms and then get other people to do their own reviews and, mm. and tags yeah. on them. Yeah, definitely. In but fact, that should be something you you folks should be doing. Do Any of your listeners. Reviews. Do your own reviews. Big tag news. us in it. Gyms is now the benchmark. Gyms ah. is the benchmark. For the, what will we call those? Fan reviews? Amateur reviews. Amateur, amateur reviews. Yeah, amateur hour. What did you call those people? Essays? <laughs> essays. <laughs> Support, support and review. Support, support and review artists. ASA. Right, ready for our final one? Yes. Fucking Thanks, right. Jim, for the review. Yeah, it was it was fucking... It was hard felt. Hard right, felt. Bad news, guys. It it's, is, it's a plastic bottle. Okay. Oh, no. But oh, for, oh, oh, oh! It's oh. Pepsi Holy Blue. Shit. What is this? So wait a minute here. They don't miss an opportunity to put the stars and stripes on things, do they? No, Never. man. So, right, pe- Pepsi Blue... Um, Berry flavoured cola. Kind of cult. It it was it was they had it out a while ago, um, and it was very very limited. You couldn't get it anywhere. I actually swithered with buying a couple of bottles of it previously on eBay, and it was like fifty quid for a bottle. Uh, thankfully, I didn't pull the trigger. Two hundred twenty calories in that bottle. Then they released this. I um, feel like because fifty eight grams of sugar. Do you, oh, lo- no do you love this? I don't know. I've never had. Have you it. never had it? Oh no, I'm just wondered. You had it? No, no. I just felt it was a shame that you were going to spend fifty quid in a bottle, and then we're about to spot three and be like, meh. <laughs> Oh, but I didn't spend fifty quid. Oh, okay. oh, right. So, what do, do you, can you say how you came came across these? Uh, I actually got these <laughs> in one of our usual um, American candy yeah, sites. Oh so my god, the dank, the dankness. Oh Jesus! Smell so. I can smell fog. You too from here. Oh yeah. See when it was. See, oh. I mean, there's no the the color of it is screen wash. This oh, was mate. it was giving me a, a powdered vibe, but now the more I smell it, I'm like, this is like. Jawbreakers or something. Aye. Yeah, let's go. Let's Sorry, go. I had I had ingested a beard here there, and I was just teasing out. If anyone was wondering what was going on there. Oh, no. Fucking hell, no. man. It's like something else. Mm. It's like one of the mountain juice. That's hard. No, that's hard going, man. It's like drinking air freshener. Yeah, it's not very nice. See, I usually say that. Oh. These 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 kind of wee naughty flavors, man. I like them, but that might be a bit. I could drink. It. See, you know what? You know the little. There's nothing Pepsi, but it's general. How much Pepsi is in this? I don't know, mate. It's we- weirdly for I'm fifty eight grams of sugar in it. Can I taste diet? It's not super sweet. It does taste a bit like Pepsi, doesn't it? I'm gonna give it a two point four. Did we do the pineapple Pepsi yet? Ah, not yet. I uh, don't want another drink of that. Um, Two point four. Because Nick smashed his can of it and we've only ah, two cans that. left. <laughs> oh, I'm put stuffs in here. Two point four from Nick. Yeah, I feel like uh, uh, it's just. I don't need Pepsi needs to stick to this fucking thing, man. I think. Yeah, I think just you, need you focus on making Pepsi it's weird. good. I've actually been drinking a lot of Pepsi recently. Really? Um, Why? I, I just, just it's it's got to be. Um, it's a daily 
drinker for me for some reason. And I was out playing golf last Rather week. Rather than a Coke? I prefer Pepsi to Coke. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was out playing golf last week. Um, and any time I play golf, I always take some sodas for the people I'm playing with. Um, there was a couple of guys that I'd never played with before. And I'd given them, I think it might have been a Gerito. How does that days. happen? Well, Do you know them? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was just like... You've I've never, never played, played golf with them. Oh, yeah, I thought you had like a forum where it was like, no, right, no, 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 no. match them up, like um, fucking college. Who have you online. played with recently? Um, it was a couple of, couple of guys. I know it was Martin, Adam, and Willie. I was playing with. How do you know these guys? Uh, I play poker with Adam. Ooh, poker, <laughs> friends. Ooh, poker friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were playing with the hockey boys recently as well. You know, we have bombed out. Uh, no, I didn't play golf. Anymore. How are you getting on with the golf? I thought you played with. Shit. Then you play with M- Mac. Oh yeah, I did. Sorry, I did play with Mac and Gio. Yeah, yeah, that was alright. They've uh, got a golf podcast or something. No, they're tra- They're called the whole way around. They're trying to play every golf course in Scotland. Um, a couple of days after I played them, they played nine courses in one day. What? Hi. Started at like half four in the morning. Anyway, so I was saying I was I'd given them the drinks, and one of the boys said to me, "Say, oh, one of my favourites here before it was a Pepsi one they used to do," and I was like, "Pepsi Raw," and I Pepsi Raw is my holy grail of drinks. What's so raw about it? It well, it came in a glass bottle, um, and it it was so like a raw pack of four. Drink. And it was in a see the cardboard casing, but it was sure. like a brown brown cardboard casing, so it kind of looked like that ah, organic yeah, yeah, yeah. vintage vibe. It was Pepsi unbelievable. Raw. It was so, but it did, so good. Did it taste different? Oh yeah, yeah. It was. It was. But it was like just a cola, but it was a different yeah, vibe. But it was cola. like a like an organic artisan cane cola. sugar type. It was. So, so what's happening with this? Is just, uh, just uh, not attainable now. It, obtainable. So see if you go to the cinema and and the machine's a Pepsi machine. Are you like that ah, jamming? Um, it's never a Pepsi. Nah, I mean, I, I, I'm, that kind of machine, I might be looking for something a bit different. I'm going breaks my heart. What happened to Pepsi Raw? That breaks my heart. Tonight, on I a very special. Bit. Why? I just don't, I don't like Pepsi. I don't really like Tango. There, there you go, there's your, there's there you go. Burp, that looks great gangster. Apple Tango, rubbish. Apple Tango is terrible. Tango, those, Cherry I'm, Tango. I'm in the orange Tango. Yeah. I had orange Tango yesterday. I it wasn't in 2010, it was withdrawn. It was only out for a couple of years. For sparkling being, cola with natural plant extract. For being too real. Look at that. Sparkling water, cane sugar, apple extract, caramel. Oh, xanthan gum, my favourite. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my, my dad's favourite. That's, of the gums. that's my dad's favourite. I know. He loves you need that xanthan gum, man, for that elasticity when you're making you fucking for your cola. For the pastries. <laughs> oh, marketing. Let's go, go, go. Go down to marketing. Uh, to help exper- promote experiential marketing natural born cola mm, Pepsi raw would that have been around the time of natural born killers I mean you'd hope not you that? would I don't know natural born killers is kind of gnarly what year is that doesn't it tell you that was 2008 to 2010 nah, natural born killers in the 90s during the six week campaign 1.3 million bottles of Pepsi raw were distributed 82% of consumers saying they like it. I love some, someone's went into town on this and like that. Pepsi Raw was sold in the United Kingdom across falling outlets Asda, Sainsbury's, Summerfield. Summerfield's not that bad anymore, is it? No. Oh, all bar one. I don't ever remember it being in cans. It's saying it was sold in 300ml glass bottles, 150ml cans, and 250ml cans. That's why you can't trust Wikipedia. Anyone can write that. You could write that right now. It says edit. I know, I know, but still. Just make these things up, man. Uh, Mad statistics. Do you know something weird? Full circle weird. I remember working in Blue Cat and editing the Twin Atlantic bio on Insta to say something like, uh, I wrote, I just made up a name on a spot. David Chang is now in Twin Atlantic without realising that years from now, not only would I work and become you friends with the band the, in, on, their on wiki. the wiki, David Chang is also like the celebrity chef that I'm obsessed <laughs> with. But you know, the, that's a full circle thing. But see, at the time, I actually linked David Chang's thing to their wiki I page. thought it was so funny I'm like, I said like an extra band member I was like David Chang musical director <laughs> 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 hey, right anyway let's go, let's go back to the Oops. scores here you gave that a 2 point something 2.4 so I I'm, gave it 2.4 what are the scores Jaws Doors no. 2.3 I'm going a wee bit less yeah <laughs> like, and you know what the way I see it is well, how do you see it it's got to go south of 3 I'll probably go 2.4 as well because I don't want to recommend it because I'm, I don't have that confidence in it if you want to try it, try it. But it's killed my dreams. If you want to try it, try it. But I didn't tell you to try it. He didn't so, tell you, and neither did we. No, uh, none of us did. Peps, why is that doing that? Why, why is that camera doing that? But I can still see the camera up there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, Pepsi Blue, 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. That was and just I mean, just solid that, rounds. That can sit there because it, it doesn't get up onto the recommended <laughs> pile. Before no. we, we round up, 
you, quite, want, you want I, our pineapple? No, a quick question on things. How often do you have mad dreams? Quite Sometimes often. when the heat's up and yeah. uh, the so heat is on. Are you having, are you having mad dreams right now? I've had two right, mad dreams gonna, back to back. I what? think uh, I get headaches a lot around this time. 100%. Mm. Big it's, time. it's not the heat. It's the humidity. It's the full moon. It's the full moon. Oh. Full moon in a couple of days. But I've been getting stonking headaches, man. Maybe you should, I mean, I, I you get stop drinking just then. I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to work, man. I'm allergic, I'm allergic to, to, to lump. fourteen hour days, man. Fuck I had a dream two nights ago. I told you about this one, Hank. The uh, where I was trying to get home, but driving drunk, mm. and not smashed, but like enough that I was like, I, I'm I driving, driving drunk, yeah. but and I didn't fucking stop the car. I just kept going. Like if I make it to this roundabout or this next light, I'll stop it here. I just kept going. And the anxiety of doing that it was nuts. And then the next morning, I kind of slept in, had to go and do some work with Andy. And I was in the car very quickly, you know, when you're, like, you're washed in the uh, car. I was like, Am I still drunk? I think this feels weird, man. <laughs> I shouldn't have been in the car right now. But I mean, do you ever, you ever look online and try and get the people to debunk the dreams? Yeah. No, I don't. But here's another one. Try and debunk this one. Last night, I bought a ring for someone. Not oh, Amy. Oh, fucking exclusive on the podcast. Don't need to debunk it. Not Amy. Oh, what the f- Also, the weirdest thing was, it was a specific ring. It was like a carty, like 24 karat gold with a, a red ruby. So the person, let's just be clear, the person in the dream you did buy it for is unclear. Oh, wait a minute, this was a dream. It was a dream. Oh, I thought you actually did buy a ring. Oh. You got a wee fly to bite me. Uh, the, the person was unclear, but it was, I was, it was specifically this ring. And it wasn't an engagement ring. Is there this thing of like, you can't imagine... I'm like, what? You what? can't put together a face that you haven't seen Aye, or something so you like can't that. make someone up Aye. it's someone you've always seen before you, or you've like it's a composite yeah I used to have, uh, I mean you've do you ever have the dream where you're DJing and you can't oh, like you can't, you can't press find play the next, you can't find the next song Aye, and you're panicking but, and there's so, one minute left and, <laughs> in my dreams I'm always at like the most like the gig I should be the most prepared for Aye. in my life and I'm just like Every time I type in Serato, it's just like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's fucking, is, that a recur- is that a recurring dream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you get, get one. I get that. Yeah, I mean, but I used to also have one where your teeth were falling out. Oh, no, that's very that. common. That's losing control. I have, a real, I have this really weird recurring one that I've had ever since uni finished. And it's like, the dream's always the same. I am coming back to uni after like the Christmas break, having patched most of the, the year up until that. And coming back into like exam time and having this like everyone's like kind of like seeing each other again just before the exams and they're like where have you been and i'm like no i just i just couldn't make it and whatever and like, that was really fucking hard those classes like are you all right for this exam and i'm like ah, no <laughs> and then like having this pure moment of going oh my god i fucked uni i've literally fucked <laughs> uni <laughs> and i wake up and i'm like fuck i failed uni and then i'm like wait a minute I passion you. Uni's fucking 10 yeah. years ago. Why I said a, sim- I I said a similar dream? dream to that and I couldn't put my finger whether it was uni or high school but I was something where I should have been like attending classes and and the, this actually when I reminisce on this dream it actually seems like a chunk of my life but in the dream I was co- co- people would go are you coming to this thing and I'd consciously in my dream go like that nah man I don't fancy it and then do you know and it all, it's kind of like also a metaphor for like like the, the, the type of pressure you put on these things because people are going Oh man, you need to go and I'm like, do I do? What's the worst that can like? What's the worst that can happen? Like it's just like when I look back at uni and school and all that, and don't get me wrong, like when I look back, I'm like, I could have aced anything I wanted. Aye. I just didn't know how to apply myself to certain things. But first of all, high school is a memory act. You just need to memorize a couple of basic mm. things and, and pull them out on the day. And then uni, I mean, can I ace that anyway? But do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't that hard. But just like. Just looking back at all that, remember we talked about the pure getting into trouble at high school and just like all this thing, like, oh god, I'm in so much trouble. Yeah. If you could just nip back in, you'd be the greatest guy in camp. You black. Mm, I don't know. I got a feeling that I might just survive life <laughs> without your fucking approval. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of dicks. Like what the fuck? Nah, I could make life really hard for you in the future, son. You're that like, idea Man. of waking up and having this overwhelming feeling of, oh fuck that, and then I, going like, I, it's a dream. They like, it's a dream. I once had a dream that I won the lottery. And it was oh, so that's real heartbreaking, man. that I woke up and checked my bank account. Like, woke up, checked my bank account, and then had the depressing feeling. That's that so crazy, man. I only had three million in my bank and not the 20. Do you know what's a real weird thing? Is that when I was in. 
it must have been like third year of high school. My mum comes rushing in the house. But he had this like it's the pure it's not not long open, but it's I don't know, it just became this pure thing like where my family would go to Brayhead, like just because we lived beside it. But it was like it was still new enough to be like, Oh, you were at Brayhead, you were at the shops. And I was like, Oh, I was there too. I went, I bought myself a fucking cheap baseball game, is what I was playing at the time. My mum rushes in the house and she's like, Get Annie's won the lottery. I'm like, ah, all right. Like, how much can I hang? Hanking like a tenner or something. She's like, no, no, she's won like a hundred grand or something. She's like, we're all going around right now to celebrate. I was like, all right, cool. And then there was a moment where I was, I remember being young, but but also feeling old enough to go, but they don't have the money right now. <laughs> so like, this is pointless. The celebration. Let's have the celebration when they have the money. Aye. Big check. Sitting here with a glass of fucking flat Diet Coke is not... You planned out what you can do if you want a lottery. I don't know, man. It kind of it's definitely evolved over time. I don't play it, so I could never run it. You still play? I do I occasionally. Play, yeah. I'll, I'll draw, especially if I get the wee email that says it's got to be one tonight. And it's know. fifty million. I'm like, cool. Such a real sucker, hangman. Yeah. But, mm. um, I think the I remember uh, <clears throat> when I worked at the bank, there was a uh, they used to always do this and almost weekly. They would say. What would it take for you to quit your job? No, what, what would you do if you won the lottery? Was the question. Mm-hmm. And I was like, <laughs> what, the bank has just no, I'm not. The, it's like a not test. My boss. <laughs> but like the like the sort of here. colleagues. But anyway, the, I yeah. used to always go like, if I was given one month's wage up front, I would quit. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, if you give me four weeks to like, find <laughs> my next job, I'm good. That's what I was saying they're like, you're full of shit. You wouldn't. I was like. Geez fucking it try me man no, like, we all just club in you're like I'm gone that's why when I did get eventually sacked for reading the books like we said on the last podcast I remember <laughs> thinking I remember the guys going so will we find any more discrepancies in your thing hint hint wink wink nudge nudge what you really should have said at that point it says you need to go and look and find out because it would probably take them a few weeks to do that yeah. and you'd have been suspended no, no. pay. I just went probably let the, let the hunt commence <laughs> <laughs> bye that's fucking nah, I don't know I, the lorry wise I, I don't even know four, I know, four I, million that's my, that's my, that's my goal four I always million. say the you first thing I would do one, one, four million four million's the that's the you could quit the job you don't really worry about anything else and that, that would do you to live a comfortable life well you can just like yeah I mean <laughs> four, very comfortable four, I feel but, like you would fucking spunk four million in about three minutes I probably would die I'd probably spunk it and then be like, fucking it. Me and Amy always have this argument of like going like, I'm like, if someone gave me 10 grand, I would have spent it before they gave me it. Aye. On one item. Aye. <laughs> but I always think the same as I would just, I would just dip straight away. Like, I would go, I would just get out of here straight away. Like, I know people say, oh, you should go a whole day and think about who can spend the money, but I mean, like, I would, I would, even just, I would exactly just go to Vegas and get a villa. I would go somewhere where I could actually go, right, it's not actually cost me that much to be here. Yeah, yeah. So people rent a big daft house and just sit four, and be like... Four million <coughs> for me was like the house here, house abroad, and then it was like, what, 40, 50 grand a year or something to live on kind of thing. And just fucking kick it. Oh. But I, do, do you know what the thing is? Like, Amy presented the 10 grand thing to me recently. I was like, I could buy like, three pieces of Eames furniture and I would have fucking had all the money <laughs> well that, that, I think that's the problem when you know they say that thing when people win the lottery that they're, they're more likely to be the people who blow through it yeah. rather than people that have con- been conditioned and earned money and all that stuff and it's like it's just because like you just sort of think like you start living exactly like a rich person like, yeah. and some purchases much mm-hmm. like going like oh well right what we should do is we should go to like we should go to Vegas for like fucking weeks and just live in a villa and all. And you're just like, well, you get nothing at the back end of that. That's yeah. just that's gone. That money's gone forever. Or like go to the fucking just go to Glasgow Airport and be like, I need a plane out here. Even just one of the wee ones with just me on it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it just that's just dumb for anybody. Um, but then I can't remember. I read this book once. I probably didn't finish it, man. Cause I'm not a millionaire. I think it's called <laughs> Secrets of the Millionaire Mind or something. And it was like they were saying about these people that like have a company and bankrupt it and then four years later they're like I'm back baby yeah, they just they know that blueprint to get back whereas like there's pure famously those TV shows on Channel 5 about I uh, won like pure 26 million it's all gone uh, I've spent it on what it. was the one it said <laughs> what was the pure that daft headline that knocked about it's like I won the lottery but now I let fucking hamsters eat <laughs> fucking watch it through Marso or something like that but there was there was a famous <laughs> Rangers fan the what famous Rangers that? fan that won the lottery Um and he, he won like tens of millions and he, he was just a bam and he farted it all up the wall. Like he built a stock car racing track <laughs> in his back garden and all that and just bought cars and crashed them into each other. And... 
Do you want to hear something? Just because you said Rangers, though. Do you want to hear something kind of like the, the girl that did the, the costume design on uh, the two videos that I just done? Um, works on a boutique in, on George Street in Edinburgh and I was asking her about the boutique and she was like <laughs> hold on she, 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 she goes like uh, I, I said something about like, who owns it and she went oh it was the ex-Rangers chairman David Murray I'm like David Murray owns like a pure clothing boutique that's so is weird Shall I? I, I don't know if you should put that up well I mean they can't see it no, no, just, they just, can't see it just what the, are you going to type in? Uh, just See While he's doing this, what, what drinks are you taking up the road? Um, the Can you go for the images on that? <laughs> Look at that, a two man team. Try to work I think, I think I would go with the uh, second row. There it is. Before second you do, row, one, not the first one, second one. This one. Right, before you do it, 10 years ago, the lot made me a millionaire. Now I suck off dogs for quavers. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing is. That's the Sunday sport, though. Those things are all made up. They're funny, so but they're. they're like <laughs> I've not seen a pack of quavers so with twenty five. It's so specific. For saying extra, I want to. Jesus God. Again, a team of guys. Right. Round. What are you taking home? Um, it's a tough one this week. I'll be honest, but he's going Guarana. I am going Guarana. You'd say I'm going to. I'm going yeah. to say Jala. You're going to Jala. Stop calling Chinese me a wank for cock. shitting in the Matt sea. Hancock. Stop calling me uh, Matt Wankcock. Jesus. World God. War Two bomber found on the moon. <laughs> I used I used Marks and Spencer's vine tomatoes as anal beads. Now I'm shitting ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! For fuck's sake! We should just right, get the shows went fucking south. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I've take got a Jamie Oliver garlic press up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> Such a theme. <laughs> I'll take the guarana home. You going guarana? Oh, how can you miss that one? Banned from Chinese no, no, we, buffet. We said, from, that, we said that one. Well, shit, shit in why did this man push 114 watts up his bottom? Look at the picture <laughs> of the guy. He's a shot. What was that man. about a ghost? <laughs> ghost of Jacko bummed my monkey. <laughs> did you see the, the just before we finished? Did you see that video of the guy from. Uh, uh, and they go on YouTube and just type. What about find the bastard to shout <laughs> the the go, go on YouTube and see if you can find the. It's the Scouse guy. Scouse guy. Just it's like just like Scouse, <laughs> Scouse drunk. Where's my coat? Hard Scouse, Scouse drunk guy. Which one's this? In Vegas? No, it's just recently. Drunk Scouser in Vegas? No, that'd be the top one. Is it the Vegas one? No, it's not Vegas. It's not Vegas. It's like... Drunk uh, fella in Liverpool. Oh, no, drunk was... fella in Liverpool town. Shops. He's in the shops. He's in the shop. In he's the shop. getting told he's bad. He looks like Darren Till. Dude, Scouse uh, uh, Bard Oh how is that not here That's crazy I only find this one next time will. The Next we'll time we need to do the, the Zuckerberg smoking meats thing man You seen this No You know smoking meats <laughs> It's like <laughs> Don't just to save it for the next time we'll next, next time Next episode Tune in next time for Mark Zuckerberg smoking meats Smoking meats Smoking these meats <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to look this up now. We can see it before, but we Fuck, need... look it up before we go. No, we're not looking at them now. We'll, uh, right. over. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Uh, that has been episode 29. Yes, it has been. And if you want to <laughs> see more of these... <laughs> I want to get friends on the podcast. <laughs> All right, leave us a little five-star review on Apple Podcasts. And yeah. yeah. We'll see you whenever we can be bored recording another one. Uh, okay, then. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night.